I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today we're reading from Psalm 37, 23. Here's what it says. The Lord directs the step of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Again, that was Psalm 37, verse 23. In this short five-week series, we've seen that God works and called us to work on his behalf. But why? To, To what end? How exactly does our work matter to God? There are many, many answers to that question. Our work is part of how God sanctifies us, how he meets the needs of others, and one of the primary ways that we win the respect of non-believers. But perhaps most foundationally, our work matters because it is part of how we show the world what God is like. As we saw last week, God created us in his image. See Genesis 1.26. And what's the point of an image? The point of an image is to image, John Piper says bluntly. Quote, Images are erected to display the original, point to the original, glorify the original. God made humans in his image so that the world would be filled with reflectors of God, images of God, seven billion statues of God, end quote. Okay, John Piper, got it. So we were created to image or reflect God, But reflect what specifically about God? Well, up until Genesis 1.26, we know basically one thing about the image of God, that he is a God who creates. So it naturally follows that one of the primary purposes of our lives will be to reflect his creative, working character to the world. And when we do that, when we live and work in line with God's character, we bring our Father joy. Again, Psalm 37, 23 says, quote, The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Did you catch that? God doesn't just delight in watching you go to church or study your Bible. He delights in every single detail of your life. He smiles watching you serve your clients or prepare meals and coach your team in ways that reflect his character. I love what Rick Warren says. He says, quote, The smile of God is the goal of your life. How can you make God smile today? By reflecting his image as you go about your work. Here's how I try to communicate this to kids in my new children's book, The Creator in You. The closing lines say this, Because when you work or you make something new, you are doing what God has made you to do. You are showing the world what your father is like, a God who creates to bring people delight. And when you show others the creator in you, you bring joy to the world and to your father too. My friend, go and work the way God would work today, knowing that as you do, you are bringing delight and worship to your Heavenly Father. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's Word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at twbwfoundations.com. These email devotionals, are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. Sign up right now, again, totally free at twbwfoundations.com.